of the word sport. In the dictionary, sport is considered a physical activity. So tell me how pitonk is considered a sport. Because all you're doing is with your right hand holding a ball and then in your left hand holding a glass of pastis to maintain your balance. And then when you want to pick up another ball, you don't even need to bend down because you've got a bloody magnet, lazy bastards. Speaking of non-sports, Le Mans 24 hours, which was basically some guy driving around the city for a day going, what the fuck is there to do here? Nothing. Let's turn this into a sport. All right. Number two, sporting events in France. In France, you've got many international sporting events like Roland Garros and the Tour de France, but they're both weird. For example, the Tour de France doesn't even start in France this year. It starts in bloody Germany. And it's the only sport where you stand around for hours in the rain waiting for the cyclists to go past for one Seconds. And that's it. I thought Formula One was shit. At least they go past you 60 times, but it's all worth it because you get free sausage. Oh! <laughs> then you've got Roland Garros, the only tennis tournament named after a person. And he wasn't even a tennis player, he was a fucking fighter pilot. And the weird thing is, is why would you want to play on a tennis court that's nice and clean like grass when you can play on a court that covers you in shit after two minutes. Another sporting event that might happen in France yeah, is... Yeah. Number three, the Olympics. In 2012, London stole the Olympics from Paris, basically because we're better than you and we've won more medals than you. <laughs> wow, Jesus! Ouais, mais nous, au moins, on n'est pas obligé de se mettre à quatre pays pour amener autant de médailles. Hey, listen to me, Jean-Pierre Taekwondo. I'm... I'm not going to fight you because your leg's bigger than me. But anyway, here's what I'm trying to say is that London, my hometown in 2012, got the Olympics. And what I would love is that my new hometown got the Olympics in 2024. Oh, c'est bon. T'imagines Paris avec tous les touristes? Ça va être la misère pour aller bruncher. Bruncher? JP, let's take this guy and kick his ass. What's fucking kick his ass? Where tu vas bruncher à la maison avec ton bonnet de merde? What the fuck, bruns? Hey, abonne-toi, which means subscribe in French, which you should do because this channel is fucking amazing. Oh, and also check out the other videos that we have.